And Jesus answered and said to them, Have faith in God. Truly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, Be taken up and thrown into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that what he says is going to happen, it will be granted to him. Therefore, I say to you, all things for which you pray and ask, believe that you have received them, and they will be granted to you. And whenever you stand praying, forgive, if you have anything against anyone, so that your Father who is in heaven will also forgive you for your offenses. Mark chapter 11, verses 22 to 25. At first glance, it appears that Jesus is saying that everything that we ask for in faith will happen. Many have made that claim on the basis of this verse, that we just need to name it and claim it, that if we truly believe, God will grant all our requests. Conversely, if God is not granting our requests, it must be because our faith is lacking. The teaching of Scripture shows us that the passage itself does not seem to be a blank check for God to do whatever we ask as long as our faith is strong enough. First and foremost, it is a call to ask God in good faith, that is, to not doubt that He is able to answer requests that we bring. We must remember that we can't get in the way of what God is doing, but that we are called to be on a mission with Him, in which case He moves both through our actions and our prayers. When faith is a double-minded faith, or when we don't have faith, there is a chance God will not grant the request. Second, it is a call to make bold requests, to truly believe that God can do amazing things, things beyond our strength. This is the heart of the mountain-moving imagery. God is inviting us to have bold faith, to not trust in ourselves, but rather to trust in Him and be aware of God's limitless power. At times, the reason we've never seen God do something amazing is because we have never asked Him, and maybe we never ask because we believe in ourselves too much. But when He does something amazing, we should glorify Him and not congratulate ourselves on our mighty prayer. Third, this verse is calling us to see God as one who is not looking to deny our prayers, but rather looking to answer our prayers. Faith, though, is not presumptuous or trusting in ourselves. It is submitting to God's will and trusting that when He doesn't move the mountain, He has a good reason not to do so. As we draw near to God in prayer, we will see Him move in us to make our hearts more aligned with Him and thus praying more and more in His name. So, let's pray boldly, trusting that God can do things beyond our imagination and will do things for His glory. Remember, our confidence in prayer is not based on our earnestness or passion, but on our relationship with God. We have unshakable assurance in every circumstance of life because of His power, wisdom, and love. We can confront every difficulty with confidence because the Lord has promised us the victory when we call upon Him and obey Him. It is only then that we can be praying for a win. God bless.